This is why Vibes Cartel will be freed. Paula Llewellyn, the director of public prosecution, is seeking a retrial on the grounds that if the jury is in fact contaminated. I find this argument to be troubling. Why? During the trial, the prosecution argued that the judge acted rightfully in allowing the contaminated juror to sit on the jury up until the verdict was given. This argument seem to, seems to contradict the prosecution's current position that the jury may have been contaminated in some way and if so, then they need a retrial, right? This contradiction raises serious questions about the integrity of the trial and the fairness of the justice system in Jamaica. It appears that the prosecution is trying to put a bandage over the wound that the Jamaican justice system already opened. Vibes Cartel did not receive a fair trial, we all know that. And you cannot hand back the case to the Court of Appeal or to the Jamaican system or any, any one of them in any shape or any form and expect a fair trial. It just will not happen. And if, if, the, if the Privy Council do that, that would be utterly unfair for your boss. Andrew Wallace, this up Mark Golden, Panem campaign. Mark Golden, Shellong, Portmore. Vibes Cartel to earn whole heap of money from the government whenever he is free. Bless up to my viewers and my subscribers. Them. I hope everybody having a blessed and a wonderful morning. Now, my viewers and my subscribers, remember, in everything you do, always put God first. In every or uh, any situation, just always remember to call upon God. Always remember to pray. Because a prior day, keep the devil away. Now, my viewers and my subscribers, Mark Golden and Jewelness in a heated argument. Right now, people, we are going to run the intro, come back, and we are going to look into it. Me soon come. Welcome back to my viewers and my subscribers. Them. Big up to all of my viewers. Big up to all of my subscribers. Them. We continually support the channel and I help the channel to grow. Now, remember to leave a like on this video. Give it a thumbs up. Also, if it's a new viewer's first time on my channel, then please subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification bell. So whenever we drop new content, you will be first to be notified. All right. Now, people, we are going to start off this report with an incident that happened and the PNP motorcade yesterday over there in Portmore where a 15 year old boy died after falling from a bus that was traveling in a People's National Party motorcade in Portmore St. Ketchin on Sunday afternoon. Commander Senior Superintendent of Police Christopher Phillips confirmed the incident. People this is a sad, sad situation. And I just want to say my condolences goes out to this young man. You understand? Your life got shot, you, but only Janu. But people, stay the thought on that down below in the comment section. So Vibes Cartel Privy Council gone a few days ago and everybody had talk about it. Now, one of the biggest talk right now is that when Vibes Cartel free, and one of the main reasons why they don't want Vibes Cartel to be free is that he might get a bag of money off of the system for the over 12 years when they are prison for, you know, and miss out for millions of dollars. Now, people, more want to tell me in the comment section. I do feel like Vibes Cartel can sue the government still if him released from prison, if they throw the case, or because him get convict already and a appeal he got through and privy council him cannot sue the state anymore people let me know down below in the comment section because i would like to be educated about this situation you understand me i say but queen africa speak on the matter about vibes cartel and queen africa say she knows trust vibes cartel liar people check it out vibes cartel and bob marley Reggae and dancehall as it at its highest level. Early on up in the years, and I think earlier last year, I said to the item that they were going to use Vibes Cartel for a final Ura. We never quite sure what the Ura was, but now that we're looking on, we're just hoping 
that those who are calling for the freedom of Vibes Cartel, that they know really and truly why they're calling for it. And not, again, using the love of a mass of people against them. Because they all know that it is poor mass, the poor mass, the Jamaican poor mass that love Vibes Cartel. And we all know that Vibes Cartel was used by the system against said poor mass of people. The only thing where we that try to tell Vibes Cartel was that he would have to pay attention to how he might angle him personal things because the system will go at any reason to use any weapon against you that them can. And we saw that them use this little murder thing and say murder somebody and rate it and him end up behind bars now fighting for freedom. Now, why am I saying all of this? I am saying all of this because instead of they using him as the, the type of role model then that we need to help at least even with what's happening in the inner city communities with the discharge of the he said Gaza nation who either call it said them father gone to jail and they need the kind of guidance they got cartel take their mind off of gun runnings and make them want the music then or something along that line. Those youths are in eager to see the warlord, the, 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 the world boss come back a road. All of we want to see the world boss come back a road. But the people touting for the world boss to come back a road, are they really touting for the right reasons? Because remember when the, when the world boss was here and was doing the kind of music then where you know personally Queen Africa was not necessarily in love with all of Vibes Cartel music them. But there's a lot of the music them where me can even the girls want them the you know what I mean the love one them all of them there are there are many songs that he has done where we can find for say yeah man you know me love the cartel there and we can sync up like them too. That's not the point to be made. The point to be made is that Jamaican people business is being dealt with very carelessly and, and, and is being used, the, 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 the things that we love and are passionate about are being used against us as a weapon against us, as a weapon of destruction against us. So you drop the appeal right in at the time when you're going to drop your general or your, your local government election. And you gave the impression to all of us that on the 16th, the DJ would be in the streets. That is the impression that a lot of us, the layman, get. But now we're hearing that it's somewhere down summer when them work it out. So, when you use him, when you use him as a big distraction so that you can busy and do what you want do while we wonder whether or not he might go free. So Uno know say it up and Uno know to make sure say him free for true because Uno have a lot of people who them ang them, them anxiety is through the roof and this the conversation is worldwide as to whether or not the DJ are gonna come a road. Now Mua say something to Isat Buchanan. Seeing youth, your father is big youth, seeing and we love big youth. Big youth knows that Queen Africa personally love big youth. See, it? our icon that, our elder that. And it is so admirable for one of our artists in the industry to grow up a son, to have him become a lawyer, to defend another fellow icon in our industry. That's amazing in itself. Like, I can't take nothing away um, from that. But I have an issue with Isaac Buchanan because I think he's not as real as he's making out himself to be where associating himself with the struggle of Jamaican people is concerned. Why am I saying this? All right, let me be specific. I respect his eloquence and his ability to defend in law what he did 
for the DJ. At the end of the day, I am not hearing enough about the morals of Jamaican people, the culture of Jamaican people. I am hearing uh, the, 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 the real new Jamaica that you guys would really want to establish around here. And you know, all using people like Vibes Cartel who have the people them heart as you know, campaign pieces. To come in. So what I would want to say to Isaac Buchanan is make sure say you know why you defend Vibes Cartel and I defend the culture of Jamaica for true. You may say to your youth, make sure say it's not no system plant you for come use our struggles against we all over again because there is such a strong hope of the Jamaican people to see change and difference because remember we know that when we are talking about Jamaican people it's not a broad brush thing it is a difference in who we call Jamaican people and we know that you guys are all maroon offsprings who have the rights to proper education in this island the proper uh, the rights to influence the rights to culture change and all of these kind of different things that you guys have the rights to do. So, I sat, we would want to know that you're the real deal by you standing up to say, yes, Lego the DJ, this, the, 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 the law system flawed because even though, even if he did guilty, but whatever on the same day guilty about to you know, angry at the situation, make it, make it, make for him guilt look like joke. Now, people, want to think about what Queen Africa had to say, people. No agree with Queen Africa or on a disagree with Queen Africa. Let me know down below in the comment section. Alright? And remember to leave a like on this video. Now my viewers and my subscribers. Andrew Wallace on the road today. And Andrew Wallace drop some wood. And Mark Golden and everybody I talk about it. Even the news station them. The popular news station them I talk about it say. Andrew Wallace shared Mark Golden. You understand me? I say, no, check out these people. Jamaican Labour Party leader and Prime Minister Andrew Wallace continue to urge his supporters to ignore claim from such man, such man as in Mark Golden, that the local government election are a referendum and the national government is the latest job at the People's National Party PNP came during a campaign tour in St. Thomas on Sunday. You hear all my voice on <laughs> some raspy. <laughs> this voice is for the ladies. <laughs> scratch, scratch. Hey, the Prime Minister, scratch. So all the man that just listen. <laughs> but my voice is this way because I have been through the nooks and crannies of Jamaica. Reasoning with the people. And it's a lot of talking. Because there are a lot of issues facing Jamaicans in their communities. This election is a local government election. It is not an election to determine who is the Prime Minister and your member of Parliament. It is an election to determine the representatives who have responsibilities for local, municipal, and infrastructure issues. So municipal issues like your garbage collection and infrastructure issues like your local roads, your parish council roads, and your local water supply. That is what this election is about. Because of political desperation and opportunism, such man has tried to turn this into a national election. I don't know the wisdom in that political calculus. Because what it has done is to go and stir up Labour Party and Because people realize that they have to come out and support their government. Their government is doing well, they understand that. At the national level, they see the change that has happened, the transformation that has happened. The frustration is not at the national level. The frustration, the pain points, is at 
the local level, the road, the water, the garbage collection, your interaction and interface with the transport system, and your interaction and interface with other public services. That is where the frustration is. So I've spent the last eight years with the team making sure that we have a strong economy. Now, we're going to make sure that the economy is a caring economy, an economy that deals with the issues that affect you. Now, checking out some of the comment, people are saying that Andrew Wallace are scared of Mark Golden and him feel he loses, that he might go lose. Them say him feel like he might go lose, so him start to try to story up something to try to have a beef with Mark Golden to rake up the people in back on film side. But what Mark Golden, what Andrew Golden really has said is that film people them did not sleep and Mark Golden go wake them up. But me not see that people. The people them switch out from Andrew Wellness. You understand what I say? But people stay to thought on that down below in the comment section. When you feel like the people them tell Andrew and them switch to Mark Golden, I you just feel like film people them are stay warm. Let me know down below in the comment section. Make we move on. Opposition leader Mark Golden, while on a local government election campaign, try chill, has declared that the country needs a government with integrity, which he believes the People's National Party PNP offers. Golden made the comment during a tour of Raytown in Kingston and Western St. Andrew early this week. The energy for the PNP is there. Our people are energized. Our people want to see us back in power. And I encourage each and every one here, whether it be from East Kingston and Port Royal side, Central Kingston side, I'm on town or Please, take this one serious because history will be made. And you are the part of making that history. And we need to turn the table on them. Jamaica needs a PNP back in office. A government with integrity. A government looking out for the people who need help. A government that you can rely on to build institutions to support the needy, to support the vulnerable, so that, to support the masses of the people. We are the party that gave you the National Housing Trust, that gave you the National Health Fund, that gave you the FAST program, that gave you the Drug for the Elder program, that gave you all the highways in the country. So right there you have Mark Golden shading back Andrew Wallace say the people they want a government with integrity. You understand what I say? No, it is just for the people of Jamaica not to take it too serious and take it over out of proportion and start fighting the one day. You understand what I say? Because these two people, them are going to show because they are rivals. You understand? So we have to expect that from them. But people, Mark Golden, ram up Port More people. Ram up Port, Port More. When they say ram up, it means say, Mark Golden, turn over Port More. Check out the clip of people. Now that is it for this morning my people Remember to leave a like on this video Remember to give it a thumbs up Also subscribe if you haven't subscribed as yet and turn on the post notification bell so whenever we drop new content, you will be first to be notified. Share the content, leave your opinion down below in the comment section.